How you doing? Just a quick video on the Inbo. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Emeo or whatever. Elite controller. I didn't like the back thing, so I didn't put them on there. But this is for the 2016 version. Most of us have the 2016 version. Probably a lot of us got it. If you're looking into this video yourself, you probably got it from uh, BJ's. This is from, as you can see right here, support powered by Immuno.com. That's the link. Like I said, I'll post it in the description. Should have loaded a lot quicker than that, but you know, let's put it on here. There you go. That's the driver update. Now, what you do for that driver update, I already got it in my uh, PS4. I'm not gonna take it out because it's working fine, you know, but it's in there with PS4. All you do is hold down on the thing. Here, Here's a little tutorial that they provided in, see, that's the firmware update. Okay? Yeah, let's see real fast. Sorry, this is just a quick, uh, oh yeah, they put it, I opened it up in here. Okay, before you update, make sure your sticker on the back of your controller matches either one from below. They're saying from 2016. And to, so this will work for both. To clarify now, this will work for both. Make sure you hold the reset button on the underside while connected to USB. I literally held it down before, and as I inserted it, I was still holding it down. What so? And wait for your computer to basically say it was connected. Once it said it was connected and it's ready to use, I just did the firmware update. You know this one right here. Press and hold the reset while connecting USB. Already did that part. Once you go through the whole thing, that's it. It'll. It's a quick process, and it will make this controller that was disconnecting, having problems. I literally tried it for two hours, and it worked nonstop, no problem whatsoever. Still got plenty of juice and everything. I'm just saying for two hours straight, it used to disconnect after five or ten minutes. Now it works perfectly. No lag. Nothing. This is the update that, you know, for people that bought $80 that you've been waiting for. This is for the update for people that bought it for $30. And we're like, oh, okay, I'm getting a good deal. Honestly, the controller is pretty solid. I don't have no problems with it at all. I like using it more than the normal PlayStation controller. I still wish they would come out with a super premium one. You know, it's like the back part's kind of plasticky a little bit. But overall, it's a good feel. Like, I like the textile things and that. But overall, it's a good controller. 30 bucks, yeah, it's worth it. You know, it's cheaper than the other one. You crazy boy! You crazy boy. Hey! hey. Careful. Anyway. You crazy boy! Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you need any help, like, going through it, you know, comment section, I'll be happy to help. I'll answer any comments you might have. Again, this is for the Imdeo Elite Controller. This is the update. I'll provide it in the link. If the link doesn't work at any point in the person's Dropbox, I have it on my phone and my computer, so I can easily put it in the Dropbox myself. Say bye-bye, baby boy. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. You guys say hey. You crazy boy. Anyways, anyway, guys, thanks guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>